Good magical morning. Hello, friends. It is I, Stick Knockwell, Nick Stockwell in the real world. Stick Knockwell here in the Twitch Herbers. Let's see here. Something is missing. Aha. Whoopsh. Let's go here. That's what it is. I knew it. As soon as I turned on my camera, I immediately saw. I knew something was a foul, something was a miss. Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all having a magical day. I hope everyone is, of course, starting their day with some water. I know I do. Winter Willow Wolf. Oh, you beautiful being. Thank you for joining us. How are you this magical Friday? I hope things are well for you. I'm just making sure I'm hydrating up myself. Making sure I'm getting ready. We have a special chapter. Here we, we're, we're here today. We're here today, today on Friday. And I couldn't think of a better day to do it. Friday, Friday makes sense. Um, a lone hair, a single bothersome hair. All right, we are at the first Quidditch match. All right, all right, yeah, I know, I'm excited. I also clipped myself tearing up um, from two episodes ago, reading about Hermione and Harry. Um, I, I mean, I'm doing great, it's, it's Friday, um, and we're, we're reading one of my favorite, favorite chapters here, and um, yeah, it's been a good week. Uh, so, yeah, I'm doing great. I'm doing great. But we shall get to the action just because it is, I mean, it's awesome. It's, this is one of the best, right? Right? All right, here we go. <clears throat> By 11 o'clock, the whole school seemed to be out in the stands around the Quidditch pitch. Many students had binoculars. The seats might be raised high in the air, but it was still difficult to see what was going on sometimes. Ron and Hermione joined Neville, Seamus, and Dean, the West Ham fan, up in the top row. As a surprise for Harry, they had painted a large banner on one of the sheets Scabbers had ruined. It, was, it said, Potter for President, and Dean, who was good at drawing, had done a large Gryffindor lion underneath. Then Hermione had performed a tricky little charm so that the paint flashed different colors. Meanwhile, in the locker room, Harry and the rest of the team were changing into their scarlet Quidditch robes. Slytherin would be playing in green. Wood cleared his throat for silence. <clears throat> okay, men. And women, said Chaser Angelina Johnson. And women, Wood agreed. This is it. The big one, said Fred Weasley. The one we've all been waiting for, said George. We know Oliver's speech by heart, Fred told Harry. We were on the team last year. Shut up, you two said Wood. This is the best team Gryffindor has had in years. We're going to win. I know it. He glared at them as if to say, or else. Right. It's time. Good luck, all of you. Harry followed Fred and George out of the locker room and, hoping his knees weren't going to give way, walked onto the field to loud cheers. Madam Hooch was refereeing. She stood in the middle of the field waiting for the two teams, her broom in her hand. Now I want a nice fair game, all of you, she said, once they were all gathered around her. Harry noticed that she seemed to be speaking particularly to the Slytherin captain, Marcus Flint, a sixth year. Harry thought Flint looked as if he had some troll blood in him. Out of the corner of his eye, he saw the fluttering banner high above, flashing Potter for president over the crowd. His heart skipped. He felt braver. Mount your brooms, please. Harry clambered onto his Nimbus 2000. Madame Hooch gave a loud blast of her whistle. Fifteen brooms rose up high, high into the air. They were off. All right, here we go, here we go. And the quaffle is taken immediately by Angelina Johnson of Gryffindor. What an excellent chaser that girl is, and rather attractive too. Jordan. Jordan? Sorry, Professor. The Weasley twins' friend, Lee Jordan, was doing the commentary for the match, watched closely by Professor McGonagall. And she's really b belting along up there. A neat pass to Alicia Spinnett, a good friend of Oliver Woods. Last year, only a reserve. Back to Johnson and... No, the Slytherins have taken the quaffle. Slytherin captain Marcus Flint gains the quaffle and off he goes. Flint flying like an eagle up there. He's going to... No, stopped by an excellent move by Gryffindor keeper Wood. And the Gryffindors take the quaffle. That's chaser Katie Pell out of Gryffindor there. Nice dive around Flint up the field. And... Oh, that must have hurt. Hit in the back of the head by a bludger. Quaffle taken by the Slytherins. That's Adrian Piercy speeding off toward the goalposts. But he's blocked. 
stopped by a second bludger, sent his way by Fred or George Weasley, can't tell which. Nice play by the Gryffindor Peter. Anyway, and Johnson back in possession of the Quaffle. A clear field up ahead and she, oh, she goes. She's flying really well. Dodges a speeding bludger. The goalposts are ahead. Come on now, Angelina. Keep, keep a dive. Mr. Gryffindor scores! The Gryffindor cheers filled the cold air with howls and moans from the Slytherins. Bodge up there. Move along. Hagrid, Ron and Hermione squeezed together to give Hagrid enough space to join them. Been watching from me, Hut, said Hagrid, pa patting a large pair of binoculars around his neck. But it ain't the same as being in the crowd. No sign of the snitch yet, eh? Nope, said Ron. Harry hasn't had much to do yet. Keep out of trouble, though. That's something, said Hagrid, raising his binoculars and peering skyward uh, da -da -da, uh, at the speck that was Harry. Way up above them, Harry was gliding over the game, squinting about for some sign of the snitch. This was part of his and Wood's game plan. Keep out of the way until you've catch say to the snitch, Wood had said. We don't want you attacked before you have to go. When Angelina had scored, Harry had done a couple loop-the-loops to let off his feelings. Now, he was back to staring around for the snitch. Once he caught sight of a flash of gold, but it was just a reflection from one of the Weasley's wristwatches. And once, a bludger decided to come pelting his way, more like a cannonball than anything. But Harry dodged it, and Fred Weasley came chasing after it. All right there, Harry, he had time to yell as he beat the bludger furiously towards Marcus Flint. Slytherin in possession, Lee Jordan was saying. Chase a Pusey, ducks two bludgers, two Weasleys, and chase a bell, and speeds toward the mountain. Wait a minute, was that the snitch? <laughs> I'm glad you like them, Wolf. I'm, 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 pulling, I'm pulling them from thin air. They're basically movie impressions, and then they turn into other voices. Like, Lee Jordan has been m morphing into um, Richard Iowati from uh, the IT crowd, and I'm basically just going to lean into that. Uh... Uh, da, da, da. Uh, was it the snitch? <laughs> a murmur ran through the crowd as Adrian Pusey dropped the quaffle, too busy looking over his shoulder at the flash of gold that has pa passed his left ear. Poor play from the, from the chaser. Harry saw it. In a great rush of excitement, he dived toward af he dived downward after the streak of gold. Slytherin seeker Terence Higgs had seen it too. Neck and neck, they hurtled toward the snitch. All the chasers seemed to have forgotten what they were supposed to be doing as they hung in midair to watch. Bad play by the chasers. Harry was faster than Higgs. He could see the little round ball, wings fluttering, darting up ahead. He put on an extra spurt of speed. Wham! A roar of rage echoed from the Gryffindors below. Marcus Flint had blocked Harry on purpose, and Harry's broom spun off course, Harry holding on for dear life. Foul, screamed the Gryffindors. Madam Hooch spoke angrily to Flint and then ordered a free shot at the goalposts for Gryffindor, but in all the confusion, of course, the golden snitch had disappeared from sight again. Dean, in the, down in the crowds, up in the stands, it says down in the stands. Oh, I guess they're flying above. Yeah, down in the stands. Dean Thomas was yelling, send him off, ref, red card. What are you talking about, Dean? Said Ron. Red card, said Dean furiously. In soccer, you get shown the red card. You're out of the game. But this isn't soccer, Dean, Ron reminded him. Hagrid, however, was on Dean's side. They ought to change the rules. Flynn could have knocked Harry out of the air. Lee Jordan was finding it difficult not to take sides. So, after that obvious and disgusting bit of cheating, Jordan? Jordan, growled Professor McGonagall. I mean, after that open and revolting foul. Jordan, I'm warning you. All right, all right. Flint nearly kills the Gryffindor seeker, which could happen to anyone, I'm sure. So a penalty to Gryffindor. Take it by Spinnet, who puts it away. No trouble. And we continue to play. Gryffindor, still in possession. It was as Harry dodged another bludger, which was spinning dangerously past his head, that it happened. His broom gave a sudden, frightening lurch. For a split second, he thought he was going to fall. He gripped the broom tightly with both his hands and knees. He'd never felt anything like that. It happened again. It was as though the broom were trying to buck him off, but two Nimbus 2000, but Nimbus 2000s did not suddenly decide to buck their riders off. Harry decided to turn back toward the Gryffindor goalposts. He had half a mind to ask Wood to call time out. And then he realized that his broom was completely out of his control. He couldn't turn it. He couldn't direct it at all. It was zigzagging through the air and every now and then making violent, swishing movements that almost unseated him. Lee was still commentating. Slytherin in possession. Flint with the quaffle. Passes spin it. Passes bell. Hot, hit hard in the face by a bludger. Hope it broke his nose. Only joking, Professor. Slytherin score. Oh, no. The Slytherins were cheering. No one seemed to have noticed that Harry's broom was behaving strangely. It was carrying him slowly higher, away from the game jerking and twisting as it went 
Don't know what Harry thinks he's doing, Haggard mumbled. He stared through his binoculars. If I didn't know better, I'd say he'd lost control of his broom, but he can't have. Suddenly, people were pointing up at Harry all over the stands. His broom had started to roll over and over with him only just managing to hold on. Then the whole crowd gasped. Harry's broom had given a wild jerk, and Harry swung off it. He was now dangling from it, holding on with only one hand. Did something happen to it when, Shame when Finn blocked him? Seamus whispered. Can't have, Haggard said, his voice shaken. Can't nothing interfere with a broomstick except powerful dark magic. No kid could do that to a Nimbus 2000. At these words, Hermione seized Haggard's binoculars, but instead of looking up at Harry, she started looking frantically at the crowd. What are you doing? moaned Ron, gray-faced. I knew it, Hermione sn uh, gasped. Snape, look! Ron grabbed the binoculars. Snape was in the middle of the stands opposite them. He had his eyes fixed on Harry and was muttering nonstop under his breath. He's doing something, jinxing the broom, said Hermione. What should we do? Leave it to me. Before Heron could say another word, Hermione had disappeared. Ron turned the binoculars back to Harry. His broom was vibrating so hard it was almost impossible for him to hang on much longer. The whole crowd was on its feet, watching, terrified, as the Weasleys flew up and tried to pull Harry safely onto one of their brooms. But it was no good. Every time they got near him, the broom would jump higher still. They dropped lower and circled beneath him, obviously hoping to catch him if he fell. Marcus Flint seized the quaffle and scored five times without anyone noticing. That's good chaser play. Come on, Hermione, Ron muttered desperately. Hermione had fought her way across to the stand where Snape stood and was now racing along the row behind him. She didn't even stop to say sorry as she knocked Professor Quirrell headfirst into the row in front. Reaching Snape, she crouched down, pulled out her wand, and whispered a few well-chosen words. Bright blue flames shot from her wand onto the hem of Snape's robes. It took perhaps thirty seconds for Snape to realize that he was on fire. A sudden yelp told her she had done her job. Scooping the fire off him into a little jar into her pocket, she scrambled back along the row. Snape would never know what had happened. It was enough. Up in the air, Harry was suddenly able to clamber back onto his broom. Neville, you can have a look, Ron said. Neville had been sobbing into Hagrid's jacket for the last five minutes. Harry was speeding toward the ground when the crowd saw him clasp his hand to his mouth as though he was about to be sick. He hit the field on all fours, coughed, and something gold fell into his hands. I've got the snitch, he shouted, waving it above his head, and the game ended in complete confusion. He didn't catch it. He nearly swallowed it. Flint was still howling 20 minutes later, but it made no difference. Harry hadn't broken any rules, and Lee Jordan was still happily shouting the results. Gryffindor had, had won by 170 points to 60. Harry heard none of this, though. He was being made a cup of strong tea back in Hagrid's hut with Ron and Hermione. It was Snape, Ron was explaining. Hermione saw him. He was cursing your broomstick, muttering. He wouldn't take his eyes off you. Rubbish, said Hagrid, who wouldn't hear who had bleh, rubbish, said Hagrid, who hadn't heard a word of what had gone on next to him in the stands. Why would Snape do something like that? Harry, Ron, and Hermione looked at one another, wondering what to tell him. Harry decided on the truth. Thank you, Kay. Oh, Kessa, Kessa. Good morning. Thank you for the hit with the hydrate there. Kessa Nana's here. Nana, Kessa's here, obviously. Um, Winter, Winter Wolf, uh, Kessa and Nana are uh, my future Nana-in-law and future sister-in-law. So they're awesome people, obviously. Yo, thank you for hitting me with the hydrate. Also, we got goofy sounds, of course. Let's see. Um, what should we do here? I just love this one. Expelliarmus! <laughs> I mean, come on now. Come on. You can't you can't beat that. Um yeah, I ooh, I need to check that. Okay, we're almost aware. <clears throat> Harry, Ron, and Hermione looked at one another, what wondering what to tell him. Harry decided on the truth. I found out something about him, he told Hagrid. He tried to get past the three headed dog on Halloween. It bit him. We think he was trying to steal whatever it's guarding. Hagrid dropped the carpet. How do you know about Fluffy? Hagrid dropped the teapot. Hagger dropped the teapot. How do you know about Fluffy? He said. Fluffy? Yeah, he's mine. Bought him off a great chappy I met in the pub last year. I lent him to Dumbledore to guard the... Yes, said Harry eagerly. Now don't ask me any more, Haggard said gruffly. That's top secret, that is. But Snape's trying to steal it. Rubbish, said Haggard again. 
Snape's a Hogwarts teacher. He'd do nothing of the sort. So why did he try to kill Harry? So why did he just try to kill Harry? Cried Hermione. The afternoon's events certainly seem to have changed her mind about Snape. I know a jinx when I see one. Nope, nope. I know a jinx when I see one, Hagrid. I've read all about them. You've got to keep eye contact. And Snape, was, Snape wasn't blinking at all. I saw him. I tell you, you're wrong. I don't know why Harry's broom acted like that. But Snape wouldn't try and kill a student. Now listen to me, all three of you. You're meddling things that don't concern you. It's dangerous. You forget that dog and you forget what's guarding it. That's between Professor Dumbledore and Nicholas Flamel. Aha, said Harry. So there's someone called Nicholas Flamel involved here. Hagrid looked furious with himself. And that, my magical acquaintances, is where we shall leave it today. Harry Potter, right there. First Quidditch match win. Absolutely, absolutely amazing. I think it's incredible how J.K. Rowling brought back the specific way that Harry caught that snitch. <clears throat> and and the concept of like a touch memory or a uh, an object, the magic that an object has, in in some way makes it. Um, they for for Quidditch they had added a special spell to the snitch. You find this out later, so that whoever touches it first, the snitch kind of will be able to report that back. It's it's um, in case two seekers like get to the snitch at the same time, um, which is interesting because it also makes it so it's just like you have to touch it first. You don't have to catch it, but I don't know. Maybe it's like once the snitch senses magically that it, you're in possession of it. That's what it's got to be. That's what it's got to be. We solved it using reason and logic science for, uh, to solve magic. Simple. Durr. There we go. So, but yeah, I love how she, <clears throat> JK, brings that back all the way back at the, at the, very, the very end. <clears throat> Hidden inside that very snitch. We have... The resurrection stone it's not there yet it's still it's still not there yet but we'll get there dumbledore leaves it for us but now we shall continue because i want to get to i want to get to okay hold on i'm gonna risk it i do need to turn back on the alerts for followers and hopefully we don't have yesterday we had some real weird happen when we just got like a uh, spam attacked with like uh, an unnecessary amount of uh, fake follows. And and let, let me be perfectly clear. Um, an unnecessary amount of fake follows means any fake follows. I don't want any of that. None of that nonsense, to be perfectly clear, right? Like people to actually like come and want to chill and hang out. Um, looks good. I was able to clear out. Yeah, I was able to clear out all of them. But yeah, it was really weird. All of a sudden we had like... Four, uh, no, I got hit with like 52 and then 55 followers all at once. Just once, just randomly pop. Unnecessary. Not cool. All right, Harold. Uh-oh, hold on, hold on. Sounds like our sound effects are being a bit dodgy. Let me just double check all this here. Yep. Make sure you're long. How you doing? No. Yep, I see ya. I see ya. All right, let's quit you for a sec. I can't quit you. I can't quit you. All right, we'll relaunch that. Bam, bam, ba -da, ba -da, bam, bam. All right. Oh, oh, and we are back. See, look at that. And that fixed it. Ha ha! Learning things. Knowledge is power and palate. Okay. Um, where, where, where? Let's go. Hup, 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 ha. All right. Well, I hope everybody's excited. I hope everybody's got good weekend plans. I know that I am now approaching the time where we will be starting to hunt for... Okay. I see a gold brick up top there. <gasps> Can anyone use these? What is... Ow. 
only Weasleys. That makes sense. Get out of here, Harold P. Otter. Okay. Okay. What are you? Okay. We have the Weasley made a giant. Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. Look at this. Look at this staircase. Up to it's that's what I wanted to get, y'all. That's what I'm really happy it just happened. Like that's what I was hoping for. Was I was hoping to get up to that gold brick that I just saw. Dun 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 Oh hold on, let's adjust that a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Okay, here we go. Yep, that's fine. Yay! All right. Dun, dun, da, 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 da. Yep, okay, always check out every... Yep, hidden bits all over. All over. There's always going to be hidden bitties. Okay, that's as far as we can go. There wasn't anything for me to jump down to get, but I don't need to go all the way back. Yes! <gasps> okay. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we're picking up right where we left off. Okay, so the Weasleys are dipping. Bye, Fred and George. Legends. They are the stuff of legends they are. Fred and George being amazing. And Flitwick. Professor Flitwick is even psyched. Uh-oh. 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 There it is, folks. There it is. The sad news. The bad news. The tragic news. The fake news. Fake news. Right there. Huh? Huh? What? Huh? We gotta go to the Ministry of Magic. So let's break into... Yeah, let's break into her office. Alright, let's go. While Umbridge is distracted, it's the perfect timing. Hermione's like, look, I know how to do it. We're missing a cat. We purple bits, two purple bits. That's going to seriously help the true wizard quest. Do you see that? Okay, we're going to be able to get this. Uh, am I confident? <laughs> yes. Okay, we're... Okay. Okay, there's a whole lot of puzzle to do over there. Oh, okay, I thought that... Woo! Okay, shoot the globe and then shoot it again? Nope, shoot the desk. Got it. Just start blasting for bits. We need all of them. I am a bit bummed that we cannot. Sorry, Hermione. That is on me. Shouldn't have done that. Rude. Okay. Oh, okay. Here we go. Here we go. Something over here. Another globe. Just going to do the same thing. Uh, okay. Nothing really big there. Haha. <clears throat> <laughs> Um, I hope you're enjoying the sound of the, the guy backing up in my alley this morning. That's always, always a good time. Always appreciative of that. Okay, so let's do this. All right. Okay, we have to guide this cat. Is that the deal here? That's what I want. Okay. What? Oh, oh, oh. Nope. Just right there. Just right there. Okay. Ah, I have to get this cat over here to the painting. Okay, we got to turn it three times. Okay, do you see those little green? I see it now. I see the little green nubs on the, on the sides of the wheel. That's what it is. I got to line those up. Yep. And then make sure I get all the bits. Yay. Okay. Yup. Now do I need to remove one of these? Cause she's gonna, she needs to get up there. Oh, 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 okay, good. She knocked one down for me. Aha, uh -huh, thank you. 
Got it. Okay, but I have to turn it. Do you see how there's the red? That has green and red knobs. Aha, uh -huh. wait. All the bits. Yes. Okay. You see that? I think you can. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I need that. Nope, she doesn't like that. That. No, doesn't seem a fan of that. That. There it is. There it is. Okay. Okay, I think she's going. Yes! She's she gonna knock it over, right? It's like a cat. That's the most cat thing. I know I need a character with a... No, I'm not trying to use the... Okay. Cool. I don't have a character with a key, and I don't have anyone with dark magic. Darn it. It's always such a bummer that when I don't have a character with a key. Because I'm a character with a key. I have a key. It's my Nana's key, which means it would work. It's a magic key. Alright, so here's Hermione with the okie doke. Man, I forgot how much of a detour this was. You really have to go out of the way here. Alright, so Hermione, can we be her? Alright, Hermione deked. Deked hard on a good lie. So we got caught by uh dolores here hey dolores were you ever cool you're you're a half-blood so stop trying to pretend you're something you're not okay i am getting true wizard in front of her to spite her face too um so we got caught we managed to activate the flu powder network to um to go to the ministry but she caught us and fortunately um uh, when she caught us oh my gosh they're hairy uh, when when she caught us, uh, Hermione, quick quick on her toes, shocking, I know, decided, hey, tell her, feed her a lie. Let's get out of this by feeding her a lie. So she lied and said, um, this is a this has something to do with the Dumbledore's army uh, that Dolores fears, and she and Corny Fudge fear. They are afraid that Dumbledore is going to take their power. Um, under the ruse that Voldemort is back, uh, because, you know, Dumbledore, you've always been after my power, Ugh, which is obviously a joke. So, and that's obviously uh, Umbridge just playing fudge too. She does not care. She, her main target is the dumbs, and if she's not going to be able to get the door, um, she doesn't mind. She doesn't care. She'll get him out of here because she wants Voldy, Voldy, Voldemort, Moldy, Smoldy, Voldy. So. So they, she caught us, ooh, 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 trying to go into the flu powder network, and so she's a, f and so oh, yo, Joker, get out of here! So Hermione, quick on her toes, knows that that is something that she's afraid of. Um, Dumbledore's army. So Hermione tells that lie because we're actually not there to do that. We're there to go to try to get to the um, the, the flu network to let us go to. I don't know what just happened to let us go to the ministry because Harry saw a false, false vision planted by, aha, okay, that's how we'll get up. A false vision planted in his brain by Voldemort, and the vision was Voldemort torturing Sirius Black at the ministry in the Hall of Prophecies. Man, the LEGO game doesn't get into any of that. I mean, it's a good thing you can just read the books, but inside the Hall of Prophecy, Harry, haven't you ever wondered why Voldemort tried to kill you? Why he went after your familia? There's a prophecy, and it was either you or Neville, man. Either you or the Nevs. Okay. Okay, there's a lot of there's a lot of bits, folks. I feel like we are doing pretty well. We're over halfway. I cannot go this way yet. But this tree looks like it moves, y'all. This tree looks like it does not need to stay here. Okay. Hook it up, Hermione. Nope, gotta get that one. Okay. Hermione, hook it up. Don't help Umbridge. Don't help her. Whoa! Why... Why did that plant swat itself? I don't know. Okay, I see. I see one. I 
called it. Called, called, giggity, called, 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 get called. Ah, uh, that, friends, is what I would like to call a terrible song, and I apologize. We will not subject you to that one again. Okay. Oh, oh go back there. Go back there. Whoa. Bits just exploded from the ground. Yep. Yep. Don't waste... Don't waste good timber. Yep, you can cut that. Good, good. All right, all right, all right. Uh, that seems to not be an option. Okay. Bits, 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 bits. Visible bits. Okay. Now the ones you gotta shoot. Get them, get them, get them before they go. Ah, <gasps> I see Crookshanks work. Yes. Aha. All right, all right, come on now. Get out of the way, Dolores. You're blocking me from my bits. Okay. Mm-hmm. Ah, another digging spot. Okay. These two digging spots seem maybe not necessarily um, progression. These might have just been specifically bits. Yes. We're gonna, we're gonna do it, y'all. Confident in this team. Okay, let's do this first. Yep, it was... Uh-huh. I do need that here. Okay, so we need we need three of those. So it was it, it was going to be a necessary Kirkshanks use anyway. That's great. Yes, I love when we get to use Kirkshanks. Look at that. That's cat digging. It's kind of like pawing around at it. What is that? I want to know. I don't actually know for certain. Like, what is this? <clears throat> um, what is this? Like, this right here seems uh, something. But I don't know what it is. Uh-oh, city. Hear the sirens. In the city. Yeah, I love when they make the little fan. I think that's awesome. Oh, oh. I think we cleared this area out. I think, y'all, we did a good job. Yes. Nope, nope, yep. Yeah, there it is. I see a purple bit. It, It's right here. Oh, I don't know what is bouncy. Ooh. Well, let's make sure we, before we, ah, get out of here. Ooh, got me. Dang. I, that was rude. Don't attack people like that. <laughs> you mushroom troll. <laughs> mm -mm. More bits? Yep. Good, good. Oh, y'all, we look like we're three quarters of the way. Why do I not? Come on. Oh, why don't I know Reducto? I want. We don't know. We don't. We don't need Expecto Patronum right now. But it, that's like a super, super. Huh? There's a student in peril. Um. Okay. Wait a minute. How do I sh I can't. I have to find a way. Okay, let's grab all the all the rogue bits. Okay. There's a student in peril and there were two purple bits in there. That would would in my mind that would that would lock it up. But the only thing I'm seeing that might be of use Got him! Okay. Oh, I don't have a Weasley! Oh my goodness, there's so much more to this level. Are we even gonna be able to get it now they now that I'm discovering oh no, oh no, I know, I don't know, I don't know. Where True Wizard is within our grasp. But the problem is there's a lot of areas that are kind of closed off to me. Uh or not areas, but specific like things. 
Uh-uh, he says. Mm-mm. <laughs> Is that an uh-oh? Like... No! Okay, okay, come on. Why, why student peril? What can I do to unparal you? Hmm, I think it must be in here. It's gotta be, it's gotta be. And I just dance. For some reason, I don't know my reducto spell after the summer. Ugh. Okay. Are we gonna are we gonna burn this spider web? Oh no! Okay, there was a blue. Come on, like, why not Herm Hermione's a future Weasley? That can huh? Huh? She's gonna be a Weasley. Uh alright, fine. Scissors. Cut. Oh, cut the flowers off. Okay. 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 No. Okay. Wait, what was that? What was that? What was that? Can I use these still? No, let me take these back to the, the, the student in peril. He's in peril. I could cut him out with scissors. Come on. It's I just need a different spell, right? Is that the... Light it up, Hermione. Wait. Focus? No, that's the... If I see someone with clouds over their head, I can help them focus. Which is cool and all, I guess. Um, these, y'all. No, no, sorry. That's that's on me. That's on me. Um, don't be the end. Don't be the end of this level. I'm gonna be so bummed if this is the end of the level. Please give me one more segment. But it's the end. It's the end of this level. Oh, yo. <laughs> Yeah, all right, so here, here's... Yes, okay, okay, okay. Good, good news. First of all, good news that it is our friend Rumpstick. Yo, what is up, my good friend? Cheers to you from Chicago. Across the Atlantic to you. Cheers. All right, we got a chance, it looks like, to finish it out. I hope you've been good. Hope you and the wife are well. Um, just to let you know, the fiance and I, we have, uh, we got our her, her ring. I proposed using a family uh, ring uh, from her family's. And then we went and got a, a custom ring designed for her to... Uh, it's called a topper, I guess. I don't know. Um, and uh, yeah, we got it. Finally, it took a hot minute, but we did get it. Purple, purple. <gasps> One away. Uno more. We're going to get it. We're going to get it before we go out there and help the centaurs. Ice birds can be scared away by loud noises. Find a way to build a loud object. I have to scare away birds? Is that the deal? Yo, yeah, 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 man. It is awesome. It took us a, it took us a minute. They made it wrong the first time, uh, which is kind of like embarrassing for them. Um, and then in the process, they made it out of white gold. And we asked for yellow. We changed it the last minute, but she did remember. So, you know, it is what it is. Um, but then, uh, um, oh, no, she said, yeah, bro. She said, yeah. <laughs> All right, birds can be scared away so i have to get these birds out of here why and also why can't i just use crookshanks like uh, oh that's right because it's a cat it won't do what you want it to do it'll do what it wants to do and if you're lucky it'll want to attack a bird but crookshanks ain't ain't gonna be played like that all right dance dance a plant okay 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 so let's see um, wedding is postponed till COVID, I guess is, yeah, how we'll, we're going to put it. We're, we're looking at September of 2022. That'll also have a, a fun time. Twitch for my wedding. Um, look at the loud we built. <laughs> the loud noise. 
<laughs> Machine. Okay, let's scare the birds away. Hey, bird! Get out of here! <laughs> hey, birds! Birds, get out of here! We don't want your kind here! Get, get out of here! <laughs> This is hilarious. What is this? Yeah, you got time. You got time. Um, we think we think so. Oh, and they're gonna lift the chains. Wow. Useful, useful skill that is having that that useful uh, communication with the beds. Um, yeah. So if if somebody if somebody subscribed to uh, to the the channel using their Amazon Prime. This is what I, I need to, I need to like tell more people. Look how close we are, y'all. Watch it. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Oh, we're so close. If somebody uses their, their Amazon Prime from now until the wedding and, and subscribed, um, which it's free, you're already paying for it with your Amazon Prime, that's enough for me to invite another guest and feed them. Um, that's what the uh, a tier one sub does for the next 17 months. Which is crazy. I mean, it makes sense, you know, that's why it's not that crazy. That's why they always talk about investing little bits of money over long periods of time. Um, so, and people, oh, it's Guap. Guap can be woken up, woken up by loud noises too. Yeah, how about this loud noise? I think I need 510 bits. I think that's what I need. I think I need exactly 510. Anything? Let's go wake up Grop. That, oh, 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 there's a blue behind Grop. I didn't see that. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's go! True wizard! That's right. We are a true wizard. We know things. Because true wizards know things. It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. Because I'm a true wizard, not wizard. Let's see. Good morning, Grop. Good morning, Grop. Good morning, Grop. Good morning. No. I want. Hey. Hermione, why don't you, why don't you do this? Yo, oh, eat it, Harry. Okay, yep, that's what I figured. Hey, why don't you just go run through there? Yo, have a good time fixing stuff on your house, Rump. I hope things go well. I hope you're uh, you're safe over there working on your house. If you got to get up on the roof and do anything, all right, let's go. Darn her for being so competent at wizardry. Ugh, it's frustrating. Yeah, but sh you know, go ahead. You can't you can't do much. Can't cast spells. <laughs> Centaurs are like, hey, you suck. Ha ha ha, you, you're disgusted at the thought of touching a centaur. She thinks she's better, okay? Umbridge thinks she's better than than other people. Hey, good morning, Mom. Good morning to you. Yo, you see that true wizard? True wizards do 10 squats. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Yo, Mom, we started off with Harry and the first Quidditch match. We got to read that story. Oh, so good. Okay, here we go, here we go. All right, so good news, good news. That major detour that we had to take um, to go deal with Umbridge, uh, we still have to get back to the Ministry. But how are we going to do that? Luna? Love good, y'all. If I could play as Luna right now, I will. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm stuck with my trio. Can I, can I polyjuice? I, I can't. Huh. Um, okay. Let's go. Let's go. Ooh, where are we going? 
Behind Hagrid's. The Thestrals! Alright, the Thestrals are the key. That's what we're gonna do. Ron cannot see this. Ron and Hermione cannot see the Thestrals. <laughs> Yet. By the end of it, they all can see the Thestrals. Yeah. Say, poorly Kyle, good morning! Say a sentence that if you don't know the fandom, if you don't know, the sentence makes no sense, but if you do know, it's extremely sad. By the end of all this, you'll be able to see Thestrals. I'm just going to go games out. Okay, so they're walking around. Ron and Hermione. They, Ron, broken glass. What is he doing? Walking on, walking on, broken glass. Okay, okay, so they're here. They're in the Hall of Prophecy. They found it. We have found it. We are in the Hall of Prophecy. You go that way. We'll go this way. Cool. All right, cool, 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 cool. Well, might as well start here. <gasps> you idiots. Okay, well, we, we, we're definitely gonna try for True Wizard here again. Yes, please, and just smashing. Oh, okay. Uh, Harry, you go ahead and hold this. Lots of bits to get. Okay, okay, okay. Shh. Um, that looks like a potion. Yeah! Oh, okay, let's get a little bit more. All right. Okay, what are you? Oh, somebody get up here. Help me out. Hermione? Thank you. You're the best. Ugh, no wonder Ron marries you. Ron, dating up. Good move, bro. Yep. All right, let's start destroying things. Uh-huh. We need all the bits. All the bits. Oh, shoot. Okay, that's two of five. Well, that's good that it's two. That's bad that I'm just a fool and don't know what I shot. Don't shoot her! Harold. Ugh! That is just the rudest. Three of five. Okay, okay, okay. We really have not seen a lot of the house crests. If I'm going to be honest, I have not done a good job of tracking those down. Four of five. Okay, okay. 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 Keep your eyes Peeled, young wizards. Keep your eyes peeled. No, no, no. Okay, just change character. I didn't mean to do it again. Ah, wait, wait. Aha. That wasn't five? I could have sworn that was going to be the fifth one. Um, oh, okay. Red. Yellow. Blue. Got it. Nailed it. Perfect. Science. Okay. Where... Where is the fifth... Where, no, I'm not leaving without it. You goofy goober. If you, 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 you be out of your mind if you think I'm going to leave without it. There it is. Oh, I knew it. I knew I'd track that down. Okay, come on, Hermione. Oh, wait a minute. Let's put these two on light duty. Yeah. Hey, now. That's a way better idea. No, no, Ron. You don't have anything. Yeah. All right. What do we make? What do we make? Super... Sh wait. We made an explosion that we just stood right next to. Oh, goodness. What a fool we are. Harold. Nope, somebody, nope, nothing? All right, I guess I can't go back up there. Okay, we gotta hurry, we gotta go. Go, 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 go. Okay, here we go. I think we got all the bits we could in that side. 
Oh, he's gonna see his prophecy. Okay, is he, uh, there's Ginny and, th th yeah, okay. Ginny and Neville and Harry all look at the prophecy. Fake, fake, it was Bellatrix, it's a fake. All fake, that's where we find out. Oh my gosh, they just, so much. All right, they're like, give us the prophecy. And Ginny was like, no. Do I have to run quickly? What if I want all the bits? Um, I don't get to get all the bits. I only get some of the bits. Yep, turns out. Oh, I was close too. I was, oh, hi, Death Eaters. What are we doing here? Wait a minute, what is happening? Okay, so we're escaping, but Death Eaters are trying to shoot me. They just stink at their job. Okay. Um, all right. So we failed. Oh, who is in there? Lucius. Lucius Malfoy. Oh, got me. Got me he did on that one. Okay, so we, we, we are just running around. We want... I mean, it's kind of terrible, but I can use my friends as shields. Because they don't take damage. It's just when you, you, the main character, get hit. So, ha. Huh, okay, we need the big, big globes. Get out of here. Nope, i just kidding. I thought it was clear as crystal. <laughs> get out of here. Nothing? What am I missing here? What is, what is this? Can I, I can't do nothing with it? Oh. This, this might be a better explore and free play. I'm, I'm guessing. I can't get up there to get those. Yeah, that's all, I don't think. Oh, careful, careful Nick. Careful Harold. Aw, oh, crud. Can't I just stay here? No? I don't know what I just did. I failed horribly. I lost so many bits trying to get bits. Oh man, and they have everyone. And the prophecy, but then the Order of the Phoenix shows up. Ah! <laughs> Take that, you get punched in the face. Sirius Black literally punches Lucius Malfoy. All right, so here we go. This is the big bad battle. Oh my goodness. Okay, all right, hold on. What's the music gonna be here? What is, what is this music? I wonder if this would be getting flagged. Like, do you, this is way less popular of a of a tune from the from the the moves the movies all right okay so it looks like okay so that's how we're going to take that death eater out okay so we are going to run around we are going to free our friends okay oh i am serious let us go uh, yo -ho. Dig this one out. Rescue this student. Okay, okay. Okay, I see where we're going with things. That wasn't even one of our... That was just a student in peril? <laughs> it was just a student in peril. Um, okay. Okay. Need to know dark magic. Who are you? Ah, run away. Okay, so we got this. This isn't too, 
too tough looking feeling semen. Yep. But this is a replay level when you have dark magic character for sure. Uh, change it. Change. Oh. Okay. Dig, 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 dig. Ow, Bellatrix, you jerk face. Dig, 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 dig. Okay. 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 Uh, yeah, this guy. Bang! Take that to the dome. Got you. Oh, wait, that's Tonks. Yo, what's up, Tonks? Okay. Yeah, my bits look low. I'm not, I'm not the most confident. Okay. Who's still missing and where? Obviously, um, Neville and Ginny. Okay. So, Bellatrix has Neville, which is just rude. Ah, uh, okay. I need to come over hither. Ah, you can run behind the mirror. Or the, the veil. Oh, that's really well done. That's sad. Yo, what do we got? TDV Zook. Wow, you have 170 fo 71 followers and you have 80 gift sub and many bits and I have a 30, 306 followers, zero gift subs. Um, um, well, I'll, I'll, I mean, I'll let you know. Uh, I am, I'm, I'm twitching for a reason. That helps. I have uh, also, um, I'm, I'm, I'm engaged, and so all the, the Twitch money and funds that I can that I can muster will be going to the wedding. Um, and people always enjoy like a cause or something like that. Um, the subs that people have been gifting to other people, um, same thing. Like all of that money goes to um, towards my wedding, which will be in 17 months. So that's where that uh, those those gifts and stuff come from. Um, but thanks for coming in, TTV Zoo. What, what's up? What do you do? What, what do you what do you like to stream? What games do you play? Who are you? Where are you? Where are you in the world? Where in the world are you, Carmen San Diego? Where are you? Hmm. Okay. All right. All right. Go ahead, Beltrix. Try to shoot me. Okay. Let's come over here. Let's defendo. Okay. I like how she can't hurt you while you're putting magic together. You play Fortnite, Minecraft, and sometimes League of Legends. Those are all three games I've never played. Um, I'm, I'm, ooh, I'm gonna throw a red anvil at her. To the dome! Take that, Bellatrix. Let's go. Okay, what are we gonna do here? Um, yeah, so let's see. I mean, um, I, oh, oh, we get a duel. A duel duel? It's a dueling duel? All right. Um, yeah, I've never played Fortnite. I've never played Minecraft. And I've never played League of Legends. I've been interested in possibly playing Minecraft. Um, Fortnite just doesn't really look like my jam. And League of Legends, uh, I really... I'm interested in it. But it's one of those like uh, games that I'm scared to step into. Because I'm like, oh, I'll get sucked into that. Zook. Uh, my oh, hey, by the way, Zook. Yeah, check it out. I try to make two... Two magical friends a day um, playing Harry Potter. So thank you. You're one of my new magical friends. Uh, wherever you are in the world, just know, TTV Zook, that my name is Nick. Stick here on Twitch. But I live in Chicago, and now you have a friend in Chicago who wants you to have a great day every day. So just so you know, like that's all my magical friends. If you come hang out every day, I'm, I'm here. You're from Poland. That's fantastic. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, for joining joining us and finding our little corner of the internet. Um, that is awesome. Um, I I have been to I've been to, to Moscow, Russia, and um, I I know a little bit of Polish culture. I worked at a bar in Chicago, actually an events center in Chicago. 
if you go online and Google this, um, you could check it out. The Copernicus Center in Chicago. And it is a concert venue that specifically is for and by the Polish community here in Chicago. It's a, about a 1,500 seat, maybe just a 1,200 seat theater. Um, and they bring in um, bands and musicians uh, from, from Europe and from Poland specifically. Um, Copernicus Center, TDV Zook check it out look it up man i'm serious i was a bartender there it was hilarious bro or, or lady um it was it was hilarious uh i'd be standing there people would walk up and they would just try to they, they'd start speaking polish try to order drinks I, i'd have to be like i'm sorry i don't uh and i would serve them the zubra zubra beer um and uh um always uh, i would say my favorite my favorite thing was always can I get the, yeah, Zubra, Zubra. Uh, I would get, um, people would be like, get the white vodka, no ice, little ice, less ice, less ice. <laughs> Always less ice, less ice. <laughs> less ice, Come more, more. <laughs> Okay, okay, here we go. Oh, bro, I wish, I can't read that. I wish I could. I can't, uh, Zu. Z Zubra, Zubra. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Um, obviously, I'm coming in here, yo. Let's go. Oh, okay. Step on both in. We got to do that. What's the deal? Wait. Do I? What do I not have the right spell? How do you do? What am I? Am I missing something? Circle. Aha! Okay. Yep. Yep. Uh huh. Circle. Block. Oh! She came to duel. Okay. Bellatrix is fast. Hide behind your shield. Hide behind your shield. Okay. Red. Boom, boom. Let's go. Mash square. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. This just am. Good morning, you saintly being. I am serious Black dueling my, dueling my cousin. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Come on. Come on. What you got? What you got, huh? Gotcha, boom! Gotcha, boom! Hide behind your shield, boom. Let's go. What you got? Come on, come on. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Huh? Let's go. Let's go. We got it. She's behind her shield. I can't do nothing. Let's go. What? How did I get hit? Disagree. Disagree. Okay, okay. All right, let's go. Let's go, X, 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 X. Come on, mash it, mash it. Come on, go. Got it. Let's go, 2-2. Two, two. Okay, we're tied, and she is in the lead. Okay, okay, okay. We got that one. We got that one. All right, here we go. We took the lead. That was clutch. That was clutch. I don't have a yellow spell, so I can't do nothing right now. Shield. Shield. Purple. Let's go. Get her, get her. Let's go, square, square, square. Come on, come on now, come on now. Get out of here, Bellatrix Lestrange. It is a serious family issue. That's a great name for that trophy. That's a great name. This just M. Thanks for joining us. Here we go. <gasps> no! Bellatrix, zap. Oh, man. Oh, that's brutal. That is, that is wrong. That is wrong, Lego. Hey. Hey, thank you. Uh. <laughs> Way to add a little bit of levity to the situation. Oh, there he is. There he is. Do I get to play as Dumbledore? I get to play as Dumbledore. Look at the Elder Wand. Yeah, yeah, Dumbledore. Let's go. Sit down, Voldy. Fire Dragon! Fire Dragon! Alright. Alright. Alright, Dumbledore's like, what is what is this weak, weak magic, Tom? Just kidding. <laughs> I just ran right into that. That's on me. I am certainly, certainly not getting true wizard here. 
So like what do I what do I need to do here? Reducto. Harry. Alright, we'll build something. Okay, this is this is going terribly. Terribly. Okay, over the water. Alright, now I get it. I, I don't I don't know. We we just had to work together to turn on the sprinkler system, but I didn't do that. Voldemort has a lot of hearts. Ow, don't run into the fire, Dumbledore. Ah, <gasps> look! A bit. A thing. Got him. Who do we get? Who do we get? Yo, what's up, Mrs. Dub? How you doing? Maybe it is. Dumbledore is a Time Lord. Oh, oh my gosh. M's comment. That makes sense. I didn't even notice Voldy up there. Look at him. 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 That's all he's doing up there. Just sitting up there. Avada Kedavra in. All right. Look at him. Hit you with a water ball. <laughs> That's what we're gonna. Yeah, shake him, shake him. Morning, Mrs. Dub. Oh yeah, why, why couldn't? Okay, here we go. What do we got? What button? X. Okay. Mash, 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 mash. Harry, look at Harry defending Dumbledore. It's called team effort. <laughs> and Harry just dropping a couple, just a couple uh, little casual spells here and there. Boom, 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 boom. Yo, anybody got anything fun they're doing today or anything going on this weekend? Let us, let us know. We'd all love to give you a good shout out, some positive vibes. What is happening? Oh, I have a giant shield. Um, okay, so just like, what? What is happening? Oh, okay, switch. Now Harry, working as a team. That's what we were supposed to be doing. Shoot it. Shoot it at him. Yeah! Harry and Dumbledore winning the day. All right, we got another duel segment. What are you doing? Do I just need to sit here and chill? Are you... Okay. Okay. Are we just doing this again? Wait a minute. Same thing? Okay. Oh, formula. Oh, you're a racing fan. Right on. Very cool. Okay. Seems. Seems an odd, seems an odd trick to go back to a couple times like this, but, ooh, watch out, Harry. Yeah, this seems odd. Seems odd. Hmm. Are you a driver yourself? Or are you just a fan of the sport? Boom. Take that. Triple tap. Yeah, you run away. You run away, moldy oldie Voldemort. We don't want any of that up in here. Let's go. Okay, uh-oh. Harry's still in lots of pain. Voldemort in Harry's brain. Internal conflict. Struggle. Harry seeing from Voldemort's perspective the murder of all of these people he knows and loves. All of these attacks and things. Sirius dead. <laughs> Get out of here, Vital Dragon! Vital Dragon! Alright, but here it is. There's the answer. That's how he's gonna kick Voldemort out of his brain. Harry went 11 years of his life with no love. No love in his heart from, the, from his family. And in... This, he's in his fifth year of school. Can you imagine, like, how powerful his connection and how strong that connection is with the Weasleys, with Hermione, with Dumbledore, with these people who, for the first time in, in, his, in his life, Harry experienced... Wow, not even close. 
not even close. Um, and Voldemort never had anything like that because when Vol Voldemort was an orphan himself and alone, but like he gathered people around him the wrong way, you could say. Oh, finish story. That's our only option. We got to go. We got to watch it. Okay. Voldemort's back. Corny Fudge has been fired. Dolores Umbridge somehow is not in jail. Dumbledore's a hero. A hero to one, a hero to all, a hero to many. Luna. <laughs> Luna and Grop are just hanging out. I'll buy it. I'll buy it. Yes! The fifth year. Order of the Phoenix. That's a tough book for a lot of people, myself included. That's a tough one because it's it's very it's very powerful, very emotional. A lot of a lot of pain. I mean he he finishes the Harry finishes the fourth book um with the loss of Cedric and the first like death he witnessed that he could and does remember, which is which is sad. It's very sad. So there we go. Look at all those kind people who worked hard on the game. We'll just skip it. We are 13% of the way completed through the entire years, five through seven. That's fantastic. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is the title. This is the title screen. We can skip that. <laughs> there we go. Awesome. We're back. We'll be back on Monday. We'll kick it back up to... Um, to here in Diagon Alley, we'll do some shopping. We'll see if there's any ugh, characters or costumes we want to buy. I still don't have anybody who's dark magic, and I don't think for the free play, like we can we we can go back. We might go back and free play some of this game. I'm really having a good time with it. I like the mechanic. I think it's better and everything than than the other one. So. Um, but this brings us to our end of our wonderful 75 minutes, and we're going to go ahead and actually do a raid today. Normally, I know we don't, but I have a friend, my friend Geechin, the, the, the first Twitch person that I just clicked on and um, discovered that when you join these communities like if you if you want to it's totally up to you this you know make if you want to make if you want to make magical friends um on twitch or just in life it, it does take some effort on your part too you have to remember that like it's it's you know try to be the person that you wish existed be that person that walks up and asks someone to be their friend um and that's that's hard to do because you don't want to you know feel that rejection but you know I try, I asked, I try to make two magical friends a day, and today we did. I got to meet TTV Zook from Poland, which is absolutely fantastic and really cool, and I'm very excited to have met them. And yeah, so the first person I met was my friend Geechin. We've raided her before. She is currently in the middle of attempting to beat uh, the hardest boss in, uh, hardest secret boss in the game, God of War, which is the game that I... Um, first played on my PlayStation 4, and it is very hard. Now the game is that we're gonna go raid. Uh, she is she's awesome. The game is is not uh, child appropriate. So if you're watching with your young ones, I of course appreciate that big time. Um, but we will we will have to put the disclaimer that it is a not recommended raid for the the young ones. But she is currently let's see here let's take a look. She is currently three hours and twenty minutes into attempting this boss, and um, we're gonna go in there and we're gonna give her some support and give her some cheering uh, when we get there. That would be that would be what I want I want us all to do. Um, so let me. Let me set that up. We're going to hit Geechin. Start that raid. Something went wrong. What? It wouldn't let me do it. All right, I'm going to refresh the dashboard. Let's try it again. That's odd. I've never seen it say we couldn't do something like that. Oh, no. It won't let me raid. I wonder why. Maybe because I'm on her channel? No, friends. This is sad news. I told her that I would bring a, bring some uh, some cheerleaders in to give her some support. Oh, that's such a bummer. Let's try a... 
I wonder if what I need to upgrade or or something. It's not going to work. Can I Let's try this. Uh Okay. I'm not certain why this isn't working. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you for the posture check. I appreciate that, Corey. <laughs> Darn it. I want to give I want to give her some some support cuz I literally know how not easy uh it is to uh to do what she's doing it is very difficult. Mm hmm. There's got to be a way I could... I bet you do. Here's something I don't know. Through Streamlabs, there's got to be a way that I could do it. Would be my guess. Dun, 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 dun. Let's see. Hang in there. Last time. And then we're just going to have to sign off, which would be totally fine. It's totally fine. Totally understandable. Uh-uh. Not going to work. All right, well, friends, with that, we will just have to go ahead and sign it off, uh, which is okay. Badum. Username, that's all my raid settings. Yup. Let's see. I can try to run it from here. Oh, I can. Yep, it's just not working. All right, friends, we're going to have to end the stream there. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Make sure you text somebody that you love and tell them that you love them. Your mom, your dad, your sister, your brother, cousin, aunt, uncle, or friend, whoever. Tell them that you love them. Mom, I love you very much. Nana, my fiance, this just am. Everybody out there, have a great weekend. Mrs. Dub, this just am. You're all beautiful, beautiful beings. You're magical. We'll take it easy.